The EPA is setting a new rule to limit dangerous chemicals that could be in your drinking water. But eyewitness investigator David Hammer found that while some states are taking action, Louisiana water systems may not be doing everything they can to protect the public. Literally hundreds of uh, drinking water systems across the country have some issue with PFASs. PFAS stands for polyfluoroalkyl substances. It's a group of hundreds of man-made chemicals used to make products for the last 80 years. Products like Teflon and Scotchgard, found in firefighting foam, nonstick cookware, carpets, popcorn packaging, and waterproof tents, to name a few. Those chemicals were allowed to run off into the nation's groundwater and waterways over the years from the plants where they were produced, from military bases where they were used to put out fires, and just from everyday uses. Jeff Dye, a New Orleans attorney who specializes in environmental law, is concerned about studies that connect PFAS to serious human health problems. A high probability of connection between PFASs and uh, testicular and uh, kidney cancers, uh, th damage to the thyroid, and uh, damage to the liver. The Federal Environmental Protection Agency is proposing to set limits of 70 parts per trillion for PFAS in drinking water. Chris Dalbaum of the Tulane Water Institute says there's still a lot we don't know. We don't know how, how these, these chemicals combine in the body. Um, we do know that they, that they stick around in the body for a long time. PFAS has gotten a lot of attention in states like Michigan, New Jersey, and New Hampshire, where they limit concentrations of some types of PFAS to as low as eight parts per trillion. The same can't be said in Louisiana. There's no reason why Louisiana can't address this like other states have already. The Water Institute usually stays out of policy debates, but it made an exception for PFAS, filing a comment with the EPA backing stricter federal regulations. Water Institute researcher Ryan Anderson. It's on the federal government to stop this before it happens, like they haven't with chemicals like PCBs and DDT. So I hope they do it. In January, the Environmental Working Group, a national nonprofit of scientists dedicated to environmental protection, took samples from 44 drinking water systems around the country, and it found 41 parts per trillion here in New Orleans, the eighth highest level measured. The Sewerage and Water Board runs the city's drinking water system. It responded with a press release stating it had tested for six PFAS chemicals in 2015 and found none, but shared the public's concern and would remain vigilant. Dye wanted to know exactly what the Sewerage and Water Board was doing to keep measuring for PFAS, so he made a public records request for test results and any discussions. In April of this year, I was told that there were no records responsive to my request, and I challenged that and said, no, there has to be. There, it's just inconceivable that you don't have records. A source had already given Dye this summary of the Sewerage and Water Board's test results from 2015, so he knew at least that record existed. What I'm looking for here is simply transparency, and I want some type of action plan that would include actual testing for PFASs in the community. We sent the Sewerage and Water Board a copy of the summary Dye received on Monday and asked why the agency didn't give it to Dye. The next day, the agency reopened Dye's records request and sent him the same document. He wasn't impressed. He said a lot has changed since 2015, allowing for better testing that can detect more of the 600 PFAS chemicals. We should know whether there's a problem or not, and it's not acceptable to not know. PFAS can affect any drinking water system, not just New Orleans, but if the Sewerage and Water Board doesn't keep measuring for it, it won't know if it exceeds any of the new standards. David Hammer, Eyewitness News. Now, we specifically asked the Sewage and Water Board what it was doing to, quote, stay vigilant about PFAS in the drinking water as it promised to in January. It would only say that it provided dye with the test results from 2015.